Greetings, greetings, family. Hello, beautiful people. Thank you for taking the time to watch. Much love to you all. As you see, I am doing a celebrity reading on the one and only legendary Phyllis Hyman. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is one reading that I've been pretty much procrastinating. I said I was going to, you know, do one on her. And for some reason, I just kept pushing it back, pushing it back. Um, I just, you know, to me, her reading is very, very heavy, okay? This sister has been through a lot. And um, this ultimate battle, you know, um, as far as what was going on with her, dealing with her, you know, issues and demons, got, pretty much got the best of her. <clears throat> but anyway, real quick, um, it has here Phyllis Hyman. She was born in 1949. She passed... In 1995, at the age of 45 years old, um, it is stated that she was a popular six foot and one inch tall soul and jazz vocalist. And she was, oh my God, Phyllis was so beautiful. She was a beautiful woman. Not only just out, outward, but just inward as well. Here is um let me see something more of a younger picture of her in the uh early 70s and 80s. Let me see. So as you see she was more small frame in the 70s and 80s and then eventually you know her weight started to pick up. <clears throat> in the um early 90s but anyway i'm going to use this picture right here this is more of an older picture of her and i'm going to set this here the eyes are going to her soul that's one a nice picture of phyllis <clears throat> on june the 30th 1995 phyllis hyman committed suicide by overdosing on barbiturals in the bedroom of her New York City apartment. Hmm. And it has here the cause of her death, suicide, and overdosing. So anyway, family. And I think they said she had left a letter as well. She left a letter behind. And, um... And I think in that letter it said something about, you know, um, I'm just tired. Okay. I don't know the full detail of the letter that she left behind, but I remember reading something about that, that she was just stating that she was just very tired. And let me say this real quick. Uh, I did see a video of Phyllis. Um, <clears throat> I forgot what show it was on. It was one of those late night shows. I think it was on Arsenio Hall. And uh, it was like back in the day family. And um, she was talking to Arsenio, and uh, he was asking her about her love life. And she was saying that she doesn't really have much of a love life. You know, she was saying how um, a lot of men, she feels that a lot of men are very intimidated by her due to how, you know, um, she said, she, she said, really, she don't know why um, she feels, well, she, was, she said that she feels like a lot of men are very intimidated by her. And she said she feels like it's due to her height because she's so tall. And, um, but these days, you know, you know, it's somebody out there for everybody. So, um, I, I just wish that she would have, um, more than anything, you know, um, got to that place of self-love because self-love is everything, you know, and not just, and it's not to take from her, you know, um, it just, it just said, I, I just, I just hate that, um, she went that route, but anyway. Let's go ahead and get with this reading. This is me um, paying homage to Miss Phyllis Hyman. Oh, yeah, I remember she was saying like men they wouldn't approach her. And she said she's very approachable, but for whatever reason, men wouldn't approach her. So that's why, you know, for the most part, um, it was hard for her to really 
you know, find anybody to show interest in her. And then it's like the men that did show interest in her, you know, um, she wasn't treated very well, shall I say. You know, women they're in her life, mixed men they're not. So anyway, I want to start off using the radiant, <clears throat> the divine radiant self oracle. This will give me an idea of who was Phyllis, okay? And actually, I'm not going to say who was Phyllis, even though she's not with us in the physical, you know, when it comes to the spiritual aspects of us all, we're all just pretty much energy, spiritual eternal beings. So I'm going to say who is Phyllis because she's filled with us in the spirit, okay? Let me just say that. <sighs> she may have moved on and occupied another, you know, body in a new dimension, whatever the case may be, but... You know, in the spirit, she's still alive. <clears throat> Her essence is. So I'm going to say, who is Phyllis? All right, family? So what have you seen here in this reading concerning Phyllis Hyman? And may this beautiful sister, this beautiful soul, rest in peace. May she rest in power. May she find the internal peace in, you know, love that she did not receive here in this lifetime, okay? That she was so desperately seeking. Whatever you see here is reading concerning Phyllis Hyman, it is allegedly, it is not fact, and this is intended purpose only. Bam, led by the Spirit, <clears throat> Divine Spirit, loving truth and light, seeking clarity. Who is Phyllis Hyman? Who is Phyllis Hyman? Who is the Phyllis Hyman that we all didn't get a chance to know? The one must have known her and for her to allow her inner circle to know this beautiful soul. Who was Phyllis Hyman? Who was Phyllis Hyman? <clears throat> Who was Phyllis Hyman? Alright, I'm going to stop right here and I will continue. And I appreciate it. So many of you, you know, if you like this content and you enjoy what, I, what your sister is doing, um, hit that thumbs up, okay? It will push the algorithm out there and more people will be able to see this content. I really do appreciate it. Sharing is caring. As well, if, if many of you are new, please feel free to join, you know, as far as um, subscribing. I really appreciate it. Become one of my butterflies. Okay, let's get started. Now, this is in divine order. The first one is open. According to the spirit, she was very open. And I can just see that when she's doing interviews. I mean, she just let it rip. I mean, she, she doesn't hold back at all. Next, truthful. So when she's speaking, she's speaking her truth. Next, creative. She was very creative. Next, approachable. She's the one that you can walk up to and talk to, and she would not shun you like this. She was very approachable. And forgiving. So you can imagine... <clears throat> Which is a, a very beautiful quality, but you can imagine, you know, those relationships that she were that she was in that was quite toxic, and um, they were pretty much took advantage of her, mistreat her, and she would forgive them. And for the most part, for the most part, she probably would take them back because she didn't want to be alone. Artistic, and we know this to be true. Imaginative. Intuitive. Mm -hmm. 
Now, for the spirit to say that feels very intuitive, and please know any of us can um, drop the ball. Let me just say that. If we do not heed our you know, intuition, any of us can drop the ball. So no one is exempt from that. But for the spirit said, for the spirit to let us know that she was very intuitive, she must she must have really been a very weakened state to where she just was not listening to that still voice anymore. Okay. So anyway. Intuitive. Next, trustworthy. Genuine. And I believe that to be true because when I watched her be interviewed, I mean, she just came on so down to earth, you know. Um, she wasn't acting all like, you know, I'm up here and you're down, you know, like you're beneath me. How a lot of these celebrities carry themselves now, like, you know, on my level. She was not like that at all. I mean, you know, she just came off very, you know, authentic and, you know, calm demeanor. And just like the, like the, these cards are saying, you know, she, she came out very, you know, um, approachable, you know, and genuine. She would let the success get the best of her, shall I say, and change her. Next, grounding. How do they say make the money, make the money? But don't let the money make you healing. Well, you can say that she was someone, you know, when you were around her, you know, it was very healing to be around her. I'm sure she was a definite good listener, you know. Um, but this also can let me know about some of those, you know, uh, issues that she was experiencing in her life. You know, um, due to the fact she was, you know, putting the work in and she was operating in forgiveness, you know, she would do, she was also operating in healing as well. Okay. But um obviously she had a setback. Great folk. Transparent. Now, when I see the word genuine and transparent, that lets me know she's someone, she's not wearing a mask. What you see is what you get. Growing. Let's continue. I'm going to set these to the side. Because for the most part, they end up coming right back out. <sighs> Thank Divine Spirits. <clears throat> Who is still as Hyman? The spirit see, I don't have to shuffle because I already pre-shuffled. So I'm going to continue. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. Then I'm going to start on another deck once I'm through with this right here. Next, we have introverted. So it like she was someone that loves to spend a lot of quiet time at home. I'm, I know I'm introverted myself. <clears throat> Next, we have detoxing. So this speaks volume. This is about someone that's clearing out all those things or someone that no longer serves them. And there are timelines to my readings. So in this, in this particular timeline in her life, you know, we did see the word healing. But right here, she was clearing out all those things or people that no longer serve her. So she was detoxing. 
pretty much probably backing off from something or someone next supportive. Courageous. Calm. Determined. So no matter what, what all she was experiencing and going through, she was determined to press forward, to move forward. And the fact that I'm seeing these qualities, I'm surprised that she went out the way she did. Because it looked like she was, you know, um, from what I'm seeing here, it looked like she was trying to get herself together. But people can't have a setback. So, you know, next, friendly. Awaken. Happy. Independent. Free spirit. Experience. So she was on top of her field. She's very experienced in this music industry. <clears throat> Next, hopeful. You see all these keywords that's coming out. I mean, even though these speak about the positive, radiant aspect of an individual, the probably you know shining their light, their good qualities. You know, I, I mean, I'm seeing like certain words, lighting words. You know, to me, doesn't lead to nobody committing suicide. Let's continue. Emotionally available. Flexible. So she's the one that makes time for what she want to make time for. Okay? She's very flexible. Empathetic. Empowered. And love. Now this right here. Is confirmation. She was going through it when it comes to, you know, her relationships. Love sick. And sometimes, you know, when I, when I look in her eyes, I think about someone that the person that they have their eyes on, you know, that they have given their heart to. You know, she gave so much of herself. How we did see the, uh, we saw the key word that came out. It said generous. I don't know if it's here or it's in the, it's in the other one. But we saw the key word generous. And that's the one that's very giving. Okay. Let me see. So I thought I saw that word generous. Maybe I saw what I wanted to see. I just want to saw the word generous that came out. Okay, it's genuine, genuine, trustworthy, genuine, grateful, transparent, growing. But I truly feel like she's very generous also, giving much, so much of herself. And I apologize. I thought the word generous came out. But anyway, I still sense that she was also very generous as well. Okay, courageous. <clears throat> But anyway, um, when I look in her eyes, I think about someone that gives so much of themselves and the energy is not reciprocated. It's not, it's not an even exchange of energy, if you know what I mean. You know, I see her doing more of the giving, 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 giving. And this side, just take, 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 if you know what I mean. Okay? And I'm sure she got tired of that too. She pretty much was seeing it for what it was. 
Um, that's pretty much somebody is using to tell the truth. But also it pops up in my spirit is someone that see value in somebody else. They see so much value in them that, that they don't see it um, within themselves. I think about that as well. Okay. It's like she it's like she lost sight of, you know, um honoring herself. Sometimes we put so much in others that we did deny ourselves, and it's called self-sabotage. When you put you on the back burner and you so much, you know, caught up in others to where, you know, it affects you in a negative way. <clears throat> okay. Intuitively, I'm just picking up on all of this while I'm looking at her. And I tell you what, when I'm looking at Miss Phyllis, it's a very heavy energy. It really is. Real quick, I'm going to use the Divine Shadow Self Oracle. This deck can let us know about events that are being played out. <clears throat> as well, uh, those shadow aspects. Um, shout out to Divine Vision. Um, this Divine Shadow Self Oracle let us know about people's issues, um, their actions, their negative actions. And it, it can just really let us know about things that was playing out, that was going on um, that led up to Miss Phyllis' demise, okay? And anyone that could have been around her, it could have been playing a part as well. Let me just say that, because I wasn't there. Nobody was there except her. I know she was found, that you know, she was found in her bedroom. But, um, you know, was, was somebody there with her and left? <sighs> Divine Spirit was good as all truth and clarity about Phyllis Hyman. A little shout out energy that was going on on the day Phyllis passed. A little shout out energy that was going on with Phyllis Hyman on the day she passed. Anyone, was there anyone around her on that day? A little shout out energy that was going on with Miss Phyllis Hyman on the day she passed. All right, let's get really quick. We're definitely looking at some a relationship type thing. I don't know if she was in a relationship before she passed, or I don't know if she was presently still in a relationship before she passed, shall I say, or you know, she was dealing with a breakup, either a breakup or just a complicated situation with the individual. Okay, it had her feeling like this, but anyway. Let's get with this. No, this is in the buying order. Okay, family. The first card I have was boredom. I'm sorry. Burden. Someone carrying burdens. And I was setting my attentions. What was those shadow energy that was going on with Miss Phyllis and around her? That means that anyone that could have entered her circle, her space, okay, on the day she passed. Someone experiencing burdens. Coercion. This right here is using force or threats, trying to persuade someone to do something. Now, why would coercion be in here? I mean, if she commits suicide, why does the word coercion need, needs to be a part of this equation? Just saying, okay, just saying. If she commits suicide, she commits suicide. But coercion is like somebody trying to get you to do something or take part in something. lustful that's pretty much you know this lets me know that um allegedly you know uh, if it's not if it's not miss phyllis energy it's someone that should not get close to her that had more than one sexual partner bully 
So with that being said, I truly, be, I truly feel like this is somebody else's energy that was around her on that day that she um, passed. The spirits let me know this is not Miss Phyllis energy. Whomever this individual is, okay, I'm going to say male. A male, I'm getting, I'm picking up a male uh, energy here. Whoever this male is, he was very loveful. So this is someone that had more than one um, sexual partner. Okay, family? Also, I got here a bully. Someone coming up as a bully. I have here closed off. You can say Miss Phyllis was closed off, meaning, you know, someone had her, you know, um, hidden away, um, closed off from everyone. Or you can say she shut down uh, emotionally. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, family. The smoke got the best of me. All right. I got the sneeze and I apologize. Um, or you could say she shut down emotionally. She didn't want to let, let anybody in, okay? Could be both. Because she was found in the bedroom. Was a bedroom way hidden in the back? Next, antagonist. Someone coming off of this kind of, you know, characteristic. Next, we have drunk. But that was some drinking. Next, we have abuse. So, Miss Phyllis, Phyllis was experiencing abuse as well. You know, it could be verbal, you know, negative exchange of words back and forth. Or it can be physical. There been some pushing, some shoving. And then there's emotional abuse, okay? Someone who's mind effing you, if you know what I mean, okay? That's abuse also. Emotional abuse. Like, you know, like emotional blackmail and all of that. Argumentative. Absent-minded. So this let me know that Miss Phyllis could have not been focused that day. Temptation. Okay. So this speaks about someone being tempted. And out of this temptation, there could have been some addictions as well. Drugs, alcohol. Next, we got entanglement. This is the kind of relationship Miss Phyllis was in, okay? Because we did see the lustful card. I'm not sensing that that's Miss Phyllis. I'm sensing that whoever she was seeing, shall I say, that individual was operating in that energy. That individual was seeing more than one partner, okay? Unbeknownst to his feelings. Maybe she found out about it. But anyway, we have here entanglement. And this speaks about a complicated, difficult relationship that can be quite toxic. So yes, she was in a toxic, unhealthy relationship. And I'll just play the part. And it came to her psyche, her head, okay? We have here domineering. Dealing with a control freak. Someone like to control others and situations. We have your confusion. And I truly believe Miss Phillips was in denial about, you know, this so called individual doing them on the side. <clears throat> but she could have found out. Let's go around one more time. Okay, I'm going to continue because this is already pre shuffled. Everybody says she can clear it to Miss Phyllis Hyman. A little shot of energy. Okay, what's going on? Yeah, that's what that was. She, she had found out. That's why she said, I'm tired. She had found out about what the other individual was doing behind her back. Mm. 
Hold on, fam. I want to see something. I had saw something online. I took a picture of it. Hold on. It has here, how did the singer Phyllis Hyman die? And it has here, Phyllis Hyman committed suicide, leaving a suicide note behind. So they say she left a note behind. That's what they say now. We'll never know. Part of the note read, I'm tired. I'm tired. Those of you that I love know who you are. And I'm sure it's more to the note, but that's all I was able to get. And this is what I read right here. I read right here, okay? Next, we have ambulance. Someone that um, has uh, mixed feelings. Flighty, someone that's easily to get upset. Heartbroken. Defensive. Someone coming off defensive. I'm, I'm sure due to being accused of wrongdoing. Awkward. I truly believe Miss Phyllis saw herself as very awkward. Next. Yep. Accusations. That's accusing somebody of wrongdoing. Told you. And I'm not saying that Miss Phyllis was being accused of wrongdoing. No, she was accusing her lover, whomever she was seeing at that time, of wrongdoing. Accusations. Cold. One coming off as a cold individual. Hostility. Bitterness. empty. Now for me to see this right here, this speaks volume. This speaks volume. You when a person feels like this, I can get this on a person that's committing suicide also. This is someone that cannot see the light at the end of the tunnel. This is someone that feels helpless as well as hopeless. Okay? This is a very dark place to be in. And I'm sure many of you can, you know, resonate with this word, you know, depending on what has you know, you have, you have experience in your life, you know, your early years due to disappointments and heartbreak. But anyway, this is, of course, your spirit this is how she was feeling. It's like she felt numb, you know, because she just got so tired of being mistreated and not respected, okay, and not honored. She felt very empty. She felt hopeless. She was really in a dark place. Empty. Next, brutality. Defiance. But if you don't, if you don't snap out of it, feeling it can really take you out. If you have nobody that you know try to help, you know, steer you, you know, to bring you back. Anyway, next we have destruction. Internalizing and callous, someone who's showing no emotion, and this would be Miss Phyllis showing no emotion. It's like she just tapped out. Oh boy. Mm. Mm, this is so sad. 
parents can clear to on this heartbroken. I'm going to sit that here. I'm going to use the love oracle cards. Alrighty, so <clears throat> this is an additional clarity. Hold on, fam. I need to light some more uh, white stage real quick. Sometimes doing these kind of readings when people um, go out go out in a certain way, the, the energy can be very, very heavy. Okay, I'm seeking clarity on the heartbroken card. Divine Spirit seeking clarity when it comes to Miss Phyllis Hyman. Dang, these two just popped out like it was nothing. I'm going to let them see it. Hold on. Mm, let them sit. Divine Spirit and clarity for this high end and the heartbroken card. Clarity and for this high end, the heartbroken. And clarity on the heartbroken card. Clarity for this high end. Clarity and heartbroken. Alrighty, <sighs> let's see what we have here. I'm just seeking clarity on the heartbroken. Y'all remember that word healing that came out? It came back out again. See that healing heart? Okay, I'm just seeking clarity on the heartbroken. And it's crazy. The word heartbreak is in here. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationships. Or addictions, okay? I told you it's crazy. This says heartbroken. This says heartbreak. See that? And look what else you see. I told you, um, because we saw the entanglement card. This was about toxic relationships. Look at that. Toxic relationships. The spirit be on it. It has here paradise. Um, it has here happiness, expansion, joy, play, fullness, oneness, enjoying each other. But it says heartbroken. So, you know, this is the opposite of what she was feeling. Okay, she was not feeling happiness during this time. It looked like to me something jumped off chaos. Some, something jumped off to where it affected her mentally, okay, as well as emotionally. Let me just say that. And maybe there was a time when it was happiness and oneness, but it didn't last that long. Next, we have the Grand Reaper. So, you know what that's about? Hold up, I didn't even show you this card, didn't I? I apologize. So she wasn't experiencing any of this, okay, on the day that she passed. Next, we have the Grand Reaper. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. Unfortunately, our sister, you know, Miss Phyllis, um, 
gave up. And this so-called union that she had with this individual, you know, uh, things went to the left and um, it was over. And with that being said, she just tapped out. Next, we have healthy choices. By missing the heartbreak, the heartbroken um, card message, shall I say, that lets me know that she did not use healthy choices, okay, on that particular um, day. Making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, being happier. Now, this let us know this is, a, this is the state of mind she should have been in, okay, unless you look at it. But she was not in the state of mind. She's not, she not in a state of mind that day she passed where she making uh, healthy choices to where she was operating self-love because if she was, she would not have taken herself out. It takes making healthy choices in, you know, in love and in life, self-love, self-care and being happier. She was not happy. Next, we have not today, not dealing with hurt, avoiding a conversation, call a person, and boundaries, still angry. I truly believe she was still angry. The fact that we saw the word closed off, I feel like she shut down big time. She didn't want to be bothered because I'm seeing here avoiding a conversation, a call for a person. She shut down. Next, we have seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, the word temptation, and we did see, and we did see temptation when I use a shadow deck, temptation, third party interference, entanglement, so what stands out to me is temptation and third party interference, that's what she was dealing with, that's what she was not happy about. Whoever, whoever, whomever it was that she was involved with, they was cutting out on her. They were doing a lot of flirting and um, allegedly, you know, hooking up with, with other individuals, you know, other females entering this so-called space, this, you know, um, you know, this equation and getting involved with someone that she was involved with. Next, we have the golden mirror, self-observer, narcissist, one-sided relationship, Love bombing. What stands out to me is she was dealing with a narcissist, and the and the relationship she was in was one sided. Two people had to be on one accord, and sometimes this person is more into this person, okay? And the energies never evenly exchange. Anyway, let me read this again. Self absorbed narcissist, one sided relationship, love bombing. I truly believe she was more into the other individuals than they were into her. They were not both on one accord whatsoever. And last, we have Cupid Arrow. Have faith, love is coming. Surprise, invitation, or meeting, hesitation. Heartbroken, dealing with, with a third party, unbeknownst to Miss Phyllis. That yeah, she found out. I just wish she was strong enough to keep it moving and say to hell with him, keep it moving, and love herself and just hold out to the right individual. You know, enters her life. And most definitely, I wish she would have, you know, seek some counseling, talk to somebody. All right, I'm going to end this reading. I'm going to use the angel deck.
My butterflies know I go above me, y'all, when I do readings. But I really don't want to make this one too long. I might use maybe six cards, and then that'll be it. I thank you all for your love supporting my channel. I really do appreciate you. That's the way I'll be getting back into my missing person and crime readings. Right now, I'm just taking a little break and doing something kind of different. And different is always good. Divine spirits, you can clear it about Phyllis Hyman. You can clear it about Phyllis Hyman. What's going on with her? The next spirit wants to know concerning Phyllis Hyman. Let any, anything spirit wants to know concerning um, the events that led to her death. You can clear it about Phyllis Hyman. Oh, my goodness, it just came on out. I feel like I know her, <clears throat> and uh, I would have loved to have, um, have met her. <sighs> All right. The first card, and none of this is in divine order, okay? They're just random messages, loving random messages, angel messages. This is upside down. This is two of earth. Too much going on at once. The need to make a decision. Consider a more playful approach. Now, that would be the case had this card been upward. According to spirit, Phyllis needs to make a decision. As well as consider a more playful approach. But she didn't. She didn't. I'm going to read up on it. That is two of earth. You're doing too much. You may experience financial instability or have too many projects on your plate. You're feeling stressed. Yet you're managing to maintain the status quo at work and home. And the spirit did say that she's very flexible, okay? If you're considering a career change, keep your current job and slowly transition to a new one. The situation you're crying about requires a decision from you. Stay open to creative ideas and new perspectives. If you're struggling to make a choice, try a more playful approach. If you lighten up, you may easily find the answer. Additional meaning, dealing with change, working multiple jobs, the need to balance your budget, the ability to adapt. Next, we have six of fire. Victory, good news is on its way. Public recognition and reward. Now, she did get public recognition, but it, to me, you know, it, it was not good. And they're just speaking about some kind of war that she had won before, she, you know, her um, death, shall I say. Maybe she won some kind of war, you know, um, around that time before, you know, her death. Let me see, Six of Fire. Because she was recognized all right, but it wasn't in a good way. Bravo, this is a time of great achievement and success. People think highly of you and your reputation is excellent. You made good decisions and worked hard. There may be some sort of public acknowledgement of your accomplishments. I'm sorry, of your contributions. 
contribution, you may be given an award for your achievement. Good news is on the way. It could be a promotion or a new job offer. Additional meaning, victory, feeling good about yourself and good fortune. Next, we have the dreamer, our angel Metatron, a leap of faith, follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities. The dreamer. The angels bring you this card because you're entering a new and exciting phase of your life. It's important that you believe in yourself. And know that the benevolent universe wants you to succeed. Now is the time for faith and commitment to your dreams. Take, a, take any necessary steps to move forward with confidence. Listen to your own inner guidance about following your dreams, but be open to information from others regarding the detailed steps to take. You may need additional input and guidance from an expert before proceeding, but don't let this stale your forward movement. Actively seek the insight you need. Additional meaning, leap of faith, creative solution, expecting opportunities, I'm sorry, expected opportunities, asserting your independence, the need for optimistic approach to challenges. And that's what stands out to me more than anything. It's not so much of her career. It's pretty much when it comes to her personal life. The need for optimistic approach to challenges. Because when you're saying stuff like writing a letter saying I'm tired, you know, and all of that, that's not taking an optimistic approach, you know. Um, that's the one that's just giving up. You know, they're saying, you know what, you know what, I'm out of here. I don't all I don't all I can do. I am out of here. I've had enough of this. You know, um, she was just pretty much at a no return point in her life. The last card is upside down. Well, I'm, it's not the last card, but it's upside down. This is a star, our angel, Jaffiel. Happy times, make positive, optimistic, long-term plans. On the right path. This card is upside down, family. So it's letting us know, you know, um, moving forward, there will be no happy times due to her, you know, untimely death. Make positive, optimistic, long-term plans. Uh, and if she was planning on doing it, she had a setback. It says on the right path. So this came out upside down. This card is upside down because due to her, you know, her death. And the choices that she just, you know, that she was making when it comes to her personal life. Make your plans with the long view in mind. Now is the time to envision your life the way you want it to be and to take action in that direction. The expectations you created for yourself and planted in fertile soil. Trust and follow your intuition as it's right on target. Additional meaning, faith, a sense of purpose, a prosperous new beginning, being on the right path. Somehow she got off the path. Cause we saw the word temptation. She got she got off the path due to worrying about someone that didn't even care nothing about her, or nor valued her, and it's so sad. The next card is upside down. This is page of water. Intuitive, sensitive, artistic, friendly. A person enters your life. A relationship begins a new phase. Heightened psychic abilities. This is confirmation big time. This card is upside down. So we all know this, that, uh, allegedly, we all know that she's intuitive because it came out when I used the Radiant deck. Also, we all know that she's artistic because okay, she's very talented and musical. You know, she has a musical background. And friendly, all this came out when I used the Radiant deck. See that? But that intuitive, she was, she was not operating in that on the day she died. Not at all. 
It's like she set that to the side. And all this down here did not go as planned because this card is upside down. It came out upside down. Page of water. Now listen to this. I'm going to read this out. We know it's the opposite of what I'm reading, okay? It is the opposite of what I'm reading. But the key word, a, a um person enters your life. Oh yeah, that's true. This individual entered her life. But all they did was created heartache and pain and chaos in her life, okay? That what she was believing for, you know, as far as Janie in this relationship, no, she did not get it. She did not receive it whatsoever. A new person or emotion arousing situations enters your life, okay? It could be the start of a friendship or romance or the renewal of one from your past. A current relationship may enter a new phase, which it did not. It's important to discuss your feelings with those around you. She was not. She was not. We saw the word closed off. Phyllis was not talking to anyone about what was going on with her when it came to this particular individual. And if she was, I felt like on that day that, you know, it was like, it was like the last straw for her. She should have talked to somebody, but she didn't. She, all of a sudden, she just closed off you know, herself from, from everyone. Now, where was I? A current relationship may enter a new phase. It's important to discuss your feelings with those around you. Your intuition and psychic abilities may be heightened during this time. People, a person that's emotional, intuitive, sensitive, a person who's gentle, kind, artistic, and sometimes quiet, understanding, friendly, introverted, sympathetic, and romantic. Additional meaning, a love letter, imagination, artistic endeavor, important dreams. Yeah, it was a letter, all right, but it wasn't a love letter. And lastly, it's upside down. King of water, trustworthy, compassionate, respected, and cultured. And we did see the word trustworthy because it came out in the radiant deck. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice. Charity work. Open your heart to those. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Like to me, she just she just shut down. King of water. She shut down. She's like, I had enough of this. I don't want to talk to nobody. And I truly believe she was in a good place at one time. I truly believe she was in a good place at one time. But I felt like whatever this was that jumped off in her personal life, it's like she said, okay, I had enough. This, 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 maybe she felt like it wasn't was going to get any better. Or maybe, maybe she felt like she wasn't going to find anybody else. King of water. And remember, this car is upside down. And it's upside down for a reason. Situation, you're a natural, you're a natural counselor who listens to up to other people. I told you, family, and offer them comforting and kind words born of your experience. Open your mind to ideas of others and be accepting of those who are different from you. It may be time to volunteer for charity work to help the, those less fortunate than yourself. Excellent advice may be offered to you by someone you can completely trust. Follow his or her suggestion carefully. And if someone was talking to her, all of a sudden she shut down to having closed ears. If, if someone did give a Miss Phyllis some advice, she was not listening to it. She was not taking heed to the advice at all. I'm I, I truly feel like she had people around her who knew what she was going through, and they probably was trying to talk to her, but she closed her ears to them. She closed herself off to people. People, someone wise, compassionate with a rich inner life, a person with quiet authority who can see the truth behind meaning and behind any situation and provide a perfect solution that's both intelligent 
and heartfelt, trustworthy, cultured, respected, reliable, accomplished, and emotionally stable. Additional meaning, a trustworthy romantic partner, a mediator, cultured interest such as art and music, an uprising member of society. What stands out to me is um, a person with a quiet authority who can see the truth behind meaning of any hidden situation. But the spirit says she was in, in, in denial. And if, and if she normally being care herself that way, she dropped the ball. Okay, she dropped the ball. And the spirit did say also that she was um, distracted also. But that's the one that not focused. Okay? So she dropped the ball somewhere to where she wasn't focused. She would not hear that inner voice no more that was steering her right, you know, all these years. All these years it's been steering her right, even to success of uh, the height. You know, which, you know, as far as her, you know, uh, being in the industry, she was doing so well. She was doing so well. Bless her soul. She, she gave up. She gave up. She gave up. And the fact that I saw the horse car, you know, um, someone could have been around, around her doing, you know, um, Around her, when when when, when they due to the drinking and um, and I, I haven't heard anything about her, you know, about drink about alcohol being her system, but allegedly, you know, um, that's showing up drinking. So who knows? She could have mixed, you know, alcohol with the barbiturals, with the drugs, you know. Um, both of them was a lethal combination. And if somebody was around her during that time, it could upset at her, you know. Um, they could be the co-horsing her, you know. Um, I mean, I mean, who knows what was you know said to her? She she wasn't in a good place at all. She was very she was really in a dark place, and doing all of that was not helping her at all. Especially when you get to the place of you just don't care no more, you know. You just drink, 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 do drugs, 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 till you just pass out. But anyway, I'm sending this sister much love. I'm sending her much love and light her way. And um, as I stated earlier, I'm praying that Miss Phyllis, you know, in the afterlife that she had, you know, all this, all these years she's been gone, I'm praying that, you know, that she's found her way, you know, in the eternal light of the living God that is within her, um, that she may find, you know, uh, total peace and love and healing on the other side. Just make she find her way, period. Because a lot of time when people go out like that, uh, a lot of time they be in limbo family. A lot of times they they be at a crossroad even in the spirit realm. They they're in the crossroads. <sighs> and what I mean by that, a lot of times they can be earthbound or they can just be in the spirit realm, just roaming, and they want no part of going towards the light due to feeling, you know, a judgment or whatever the case may be. Okay, I can't speak for her. I cannot speak for her. I'm just praying that she finds her way. And um, we love Miss Phyllis and um. You know, we just praying that um she may she rest in peace. I thank you, family, once again for your love and support in my channel. I really appreciate you. Um, the next read I'm going to do is going to be on the legendary um Irene Carroll. Okay, thank you all for watching. Peace and love to you, and be safe. Rest in peace, Miss Phyllis Hyman. We love you, and Lord knows we all appreciated you.